In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with the Holy Spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, in this Eucharistic sacrifice, we pray for a sweet end to the coronavirus pandemic that afflicts the world, that God our Father will heal the sick, strengthen those who care for them, Grant success to those working to eradicate this curse. Help us all to persevere in faith and welcome to His kingdom all who pass away because of this disease. We also remember all the intentions of the pilgrims and the devotees of Signor Santo Nino. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Together we say, I confess, confess Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. St. John Vianney, wonderful in his pastoral zeal. Grant, we pray, that through his intercession and example, we may in charity win brothers and sisters for Christ and attain with them eternal glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Let's be seated.
A reading from the book of Numbers. The Lord said to Moses in the desert of Paran, Send men to reconnoiter the land of Canaan, which I am giving the children of Israel. You shall send one man from each ancestral tribe, all of them prince. After reconnoitering the land for forty days, they return. But Moses and Aaron and the whole congregation of the children of Israel in the desert of Paran and Kadesh made a report to them all and showed the fruit of the country to the whole congregation. Then he told Moses, We went into the land to which you sent us. It does indeed flow with milk and honey, and there is its fruit. However, the people who are living in the land are fierce, and the towns are fortified and very strong. Besides, we saw descendants of the Anakim there. Amalekites live in the region of the Negev. Hittites, Jebusites, and Amorites dwell in the highlands, and the Canaanites along the sea coast and the banks of the Jordan. Caleb, however, to quiet the people toward Moses, said, We ought to go up and seize the land, for we can certainly do so. But the man who had gone up with him said, We cannot attack these people. They are too strong for us. So they spread discouraging reports among the children of Israel about the land they had scouted, saying, The land that we explored in a country that consumes its inhabitants. And all the people we saw there are huge, veritably giants. The Anakim were a race of giants. We felt like mere grasshoppers, and so we must have seen to them. At this, the whole community broke out with loud cries, and even in the night, the people wailed. The Lord said to Moses and Aaron, how long will this wicked assembly grumble against me? I have heard the grumblings of the children of Israel against me. Tell them, by my life, says the Lord, I will do to you just what I have heard you say. Here in the desert shall your dead bodies fall. Forty days you spent in scouting the land. Forty years shall you suffer for your crimes, one year for each day. Thus, you will realize what it means to oppose me. I, the Lord, have sworn to do this to all this wicked assembly that conspired against me. Here, in the desert, they shall die to the last man. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. We have sinned, we and our fathers. We have committed crimes, we have done wrong. Our fathers in Egypt considered not your wonder. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. But soon they forgot his words. They waited not for his counsel. 
They gave way to craving in the desert and tempted God in the wilderness. Remember us, O Lord, as you feed your people. They forgot the God who had saved them. Who have done great deeds in each wondrous deeds in the land of home, terrible things in the Red Sea. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Then he spoke on. Exterminating them, but Moses, his chosen one, withstood him in the breach to turn back his destructive wrath. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. At that time, Jesus withdrew to the region of Tyre and Sidon. And behold, a Canaanite woman of that district came and called out, Have pity on me, Lord, son of David. My daughter is tormented by a demon. And he did not say a word in answer to her. His disciples came and asked him, Send her away, for she keeps calling out after us. He said in reply, I was sent only to the lost ship of the house of Israel. But the woman came and did him homage, saying, Lord, help me. He said in reply, It is not right to take the food of the children and throw it to the dogs. She said, Please, Lord, for even the dogs eat the scraps that fall from the table of their masters. Then Jesus said to her in reply, O woman, great is your faith. Let it be done for you as you wish. And her daughter was healed from that hour. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters, especially our brothers and sisters who are with us in their home. Good morning to all of you. How do we strengthen our lives amidst pandemic? It is true faith and the power of the words of encouragement. Wars are won because of the power of words of encouragement and faith of their leaders that made warriors valiant and fearless. We heard from our first reading how the people of Israel were so helpless and hopeless because of their lack of faith in God. When they saw their promised land inhabited by strong people, youths 
and veritable giants. They grumble against God, and so they spread discouraging reports among children of Israel about the land they had scouted, and they felt like mere grasshoppers. This is the same feeling we feel today as we are facing this COVID-19 pandemic. We feel so helpless, afraid, and hopeless. Our social media are full of scary news about different variants of COVID-19. We heard from news scarcity of hospital beds, oxygens, and even vaccines. We are just like the people of Israel who are lack of faith and spreading discouraging reports. Because of their lack of faith, they were punished for 40 years in the desert and those who conspired died in that desert to the last men and they were not able to reach the promised land. We don't want to be punished, but we want to be free from this pandemic. We should be like a Samaritan woman who pleaded the Lord with great faith that her daughter will be healed even if she was put to the test. But her words of encouragement in her humility when she said, Please, Lord, for even the dogs eat the scraps that fall from the table of their masters, has touched the heart of Jesus and grant her request. My dear brothers and sisters, even in our difficulties in this time of pandemic, let us encourage each other with sincere faith in God that we will be able to survive and continue to live a life in serving in the service of the Lord. Let us encourage our brothers and sisters to continue to follow the health and safety protocol like wearing a mask, hand washing, disinfect, social distancing, and even to avail vaccination as much as possible. Let us share our success stories, how we fight COVID-19. Let us share our inspirational experiences for our brothers and sisters who experience the same sickness. Let them feel that they are not alone. Let them feel that we are, that we are with them. Let us give our words of gratitude to inspire our frontliners and our health workers who continuously serving our sick brothers and sisters. With humility, let us accept our weaknesses and shortcomings so that our faith in Jesus Christ may grow and we offer to Him our petitions with full of hope that He will answer them in His own time. Let us also take the example of our saint today, who become the beloved patron of the priest, St. John Mary Vianney, who overcome many difficulties in his life, especially academically, he was not so good, but was ordained a priest and manifested extraordinary patience in serving the people in his parish. He spent 16 hours a day in confessional and have endured this extraordinary self-giving on a daily basis. John Vianney often stressed the holiness and dignity of a priest when he said, Behold the power of the priest. The tongue of priests makes God from a morsel of bread. 
It is more than creating the world. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, as, as, as baptized Christian, we are all called to preach Jesus. Let us put the words of Jesus into our lips so that we will be able to change the world from hatred to love, a world of selfishness to selflessness, and a world of despair to full of hope. Amen. Let us all stand. Jesus Christ tore down the barriers separating Jews from Gentiles. As one people of one new and eternal covenant, let us pray to God who unites us. Let our response be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church throughout the world may become a channel of God's mercy, peace, and love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That as a community of believers, we may not be divided by petty barriers of hatred and prejudice. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That mothers who are anxious and deeply worried about their children's health, may never fail to turn to Jesus for support and comfort. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may show care and concern for suffering people, regardless of their status, race, or religion. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the servant of God, Teofilo Kamumot, Bishop, be raised to the altar of the saints. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the intentions and prayers offered by the pilgrims and devotees of Senior Santo Nino, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace in our country and in the whole world, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all in direct patient care, give them strength for their service. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those isolated in their homes, sustain them in joy and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For decision makers at all levels, send them your wisdom and good counsel to serve their communities. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died because of the pandemic and those who grieve their loss in isolation, comfort them in their sorrow. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God, our refuge and our strength, your wish is to unite all people. May we always be sensitive to the needs of others and never exclude anyone from our company. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Say the word, we ask it, say the words, love it, say our lives, Father, we are yours, we are yours, yours as we stand at the table you set, yours as we eat the bread of ours, can't forget, we are the sign of your life with us yet. We are yours, we are yours. Take our bread, we must eat, save our hearts. Let it save our lives, oh Father, we are yours.
Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept his sacrifice to us with the praise and glory of his name, for the good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings placed on your altar in commemoration of Saint Mary Vianney, so that as you brought him glory, you may through these sacred mysteries grant to us your pardon through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For us on the festival of St. John Mary Vianney, you bid your church rejoice. So do you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord of sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith When we resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have this worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, 
together with Francis our Pope, Jose our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints, especially Saint Mary John Vianney, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, with Him, and in Him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. At the Savior's command, formed by the divine teaching, we dare to pray. O Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For that is the kingdom that will glory for Jesus Christ who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lord, I say the way it seems in the world of mercy on us. Lord, I say the way it seems in the world of mercy on us. Lord, Send away the sins of the world. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that the shit that they under my roof. But I will say the rule and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen.
act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May partaking at the heavenly table, Almighty God, confirm and increase strength from on high in all who celebrate the feast day of Saint John Mary Vianney, that we may persevere in integrity, the gift of faith, and walk in the path of salvation you trace for us through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Prayer to Saint Michael the Archangel. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him. We humbly pray, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits roaming around the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Mary, Queen of Angels, pray for us. Holy Angels in Heaven, pray for us. Blessing of religious articles, let us pray. God, by whose word all things are made holy, pour out your blessings on these religious articles, and grant that anyone who uses them in accordance with your will and your law, and with the spirit of thanksgiving, may experience by your power help in body and protection in soul, as they invoke your most holy name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Good morning once again. Good morning.